are not alone. Of course they're not alone. We're right here. No, I mean, they're not alone because they have diabetes. This affects millions of people every year. Millions? Is there a cure? Unfortunately, there is no cure. But there is treatment. And after we tell you what is happening in your body, we'll show you how to take care of yourself. Look out, diabetes. Here we come. The body is made of trillions of cells. That's a million million that need energy to function. Millions of millions? That's a lot. Mm, how about seven? The food you eat is turned into sugar, which is called glucose. And glucose travels to all of your cells through the bloodstream. Inside your body is an organ called the pancreas. The pancreas makes something called insulin, which helps all those cells in your body use the glucose. Your cells need the glucose to grow and get the power they need. If you have diabetes, your body has trouble controlling the level of glucose in your blood. Either your pancreas isn't making enough insulin, or your cells aren't reacting to the insulin the way they should. So there's too much glucose running around in your blood. And that's a bad thing? Yes. Having too much or too little glucose in your blood can damage your heart, blood vessels, kidneys, brain, and nerves, and cause eyesight that gets worse and worse over many years. And that's not good. How do we know if we have this? Some symptoms are too much thirst or hunger, peeing too often, weight loss, tiredness, changes in vision, slow healing cuts, and itching of your skin that goes on and on. That's a lot of stuff. That's why it's very important for people with diabetes to take care of themselves. In some cases, people with diabetes need to take daily insulin shots. Sometimes you can control this disease through diet and exercise and taking medication by mouth. Your doctor can help you with a diet and medication plan so that your blood sugar is regulated. I know some healthy foods, fruit, vegetables, whole grains, fish, nuts, beans. And you need to exercise too. Getting good exercise really helps your body control your glucose levels. You can run, swim, skip, hop, bicycle, jump rope, play games. Just keep your body moving. Dance! But even when you're as active as Daniel, you still need to check your blood sugar level regularly. Your doctor will show you how and in no time, you'll be able to do it yourself. <laughs>